Hi, and welcome back. On my last video, I did a review on the UV5RA radio, and I wanted to do a little update. I did a little more extensive testing on the antennas that I have. We have the factory one that came with the UV5RA, um, the traditional Biofang antenna that they place on most of their radios, such as the UV5R. Uh, then I have my expert power antenna and Retrievus, I believe it's pronounced, the RHD701. And what I did, I took my Surecom antenna tester and I tested the two meter and 70 centimeter frequencies. I tested them um, at the beginning of each frequency, the middle, and the end. And then I also, just for the heck of it, uh, did it did a test on the two meter national calling frequency. So um, let's go over the results and let me show you what I discovered. All right, looking at our test results, you can see on the two meter band on the 144.1 megahertz that out of all the antennas, the expert power did the best with an SWR of 1.01 and the radio put out a little over six watts. The worst antenna was the antenna that came with the radio with the UV5RA had an SWR of 7.45 and the radio put out a little over four watts. On the upper end of the band at 148 megahertz, the, the standard antenna that comes with uh, most of the Biofang two meter radios did the best at an SWR of 1.01 and 6.36 watts. But also, the expert power again did really well. It had a SWR of 1.53, but it actually almost put out one more watt at 7.26. And on the 70 centimeter band, the best performing antenna was actually the UV5RA stock antenna at um, 1.89 on SWR and, and 5.65 watts. And again, the stock antenna that comes with most of the Biofang radios also did uh, pretty decent, well, a little high, 2.61 on SWR and 5.65 watts. And at the upper end of the 70 centimeter band, the again, the UV5RA antenna uh, did pretty well at 1.85 and 5.98 watts. And the stock antenna of the Baofeng radios also did decent at 1.78 on the SWR and 5.96 watts. All right, so after all that testing, the two antennas that stood out the most to me would be this, uh, the stock antenna, the classic Baofang antenna that comes with most of their radios, it performed uh, very well. And then also my expert power antenna that's just a little bit bigger than the stock antenna. I actually really like this one. It's very flexible. This is probably what I would use for everyday use. And the other two antennas, the Retivus antenna, the RHD701, I don't feel that it performed very well, so um, I'm returning that to Amazon. It's not as advertised. And then the stock antenna that comes with the UV5RA, it only performed decently on the 70 band. So again, I would probably not use this antenna for everyday use. On the two meter band, it performed really poorly. 
So there you have it, a better in-depth look at antennas and my recommendations. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.